and welcome to Tech Tuesday. This week's sponsor is Tori Nissan. Joining us is General Manager Bob Bailey. Bob's back. Bob's back. <laughs> Glad to be here. Good, good morning, to see sir. You. How are you? So we're talking about the dashboard. I mean, anymore the dashboard is like command central. You have to know what the lights mean. I had mine go off the other day was saying, you need gas, stupid, um, you know. Um, so I kind of panicked a little bit because I thought, oh, gee, I got to get it now. But you're saying normally when the get when the check when the uh, gas light goes on, you got about three gallons, so it gives you plenty of time to go get gas immediately. But then you got people that figure out, well, I'll just wait till that light goes <laughs> off, then I'll get gas. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you forget, and then you're out of <laughs> gas, right? Um, so um, we we have some video of the uh, dashboard central and and what all that means. Let's uh, take a look. Today we want to spend some time about the most frightening thing in the world about a car. That's the lights on the dash. From the check engine light to the battery light to the low fuel light to the brake light. All the lights that make you crazy and then figure out what they really all mean and how do you fix them. The one that looks like a little oil can, it's exactly what it is. It's telling that you, got, you, you need to check your oil. Uh, the battery lights telling you battery is uh, time to take a look at it. And then the one up top there, that's telling you somebody's in the car without their seatbelt on. The most frightening light that comes on is that little engine light in the middle. That light right there, when it's on like it is right now, it's a little bit of a shade of green. Uh, that's telling you that I've got the car not started, but the ignition's on. When that light comes on and you're driving and it stays solid, uh, that could be anything from your gas caps not tightened up to that there's a problem with the ignition system. Where it really gets frightening is if that check engine light comes on and it's flashing an amber color, that's when it's time to get the car to the dealership to find out what's happening because at that point there's something major going on with your car that's not quite right. You know, that really is good to know, but I guess the, the, the thing here is not to panic once those lights come on. Right. Once, you, once the lights come on, it's not necessarily a panic. It's a warning. It's time to pay attention. When the check engine light goes amber and flashing, that's pretty good time to panic right there because that means there's something major going on. So at that point, you really want to sh shut it down and get the car brought in. Okay, is there also the one about the tires? Uh, you got the low pressure tire. Crazy. Well, and that happens a lot here in the valley because yes. we got such heat changes. Yeah. So, and as uh, it gets hotter, you know, air expands, it gets colder, it contracts. So. Is that why there's a lot of people with hot air here? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so, but these are important things to know. That booklet that you were showing, my gosh. That's a tome, isn't it? I'm guessing you've probably never read your owner's <laughs> manual. Uh, most guys no, don't. No, they don't. You know, my wife, she reads it cover to cover. But yeah, that's the good guide. Keep it in there when you see that. When you come into the uh, when you come into the dealership, you know, and the next step on that is we plug into a computer and it stores all the information that triggered those lights to come on, so we oh. can tell what the problem is. Okay, and so when they come in, you will personally show them all those <laughs> lights on there and show uh, them how they work. Yeah, I actually know what it is. Is we've got actual technicians, experts. <laughs> yeah, which is really important. <laughs> well, you know what though? I mean, that just shows you how far technology keeps growing uh, to show you everything that you need to know about the car you're driving. Uh, and it does, and they want the cars to last. So if you maintain your car, you pay attention to your car, there's no reason the car can't get you, you know, 200,000 miles. We see cars every day coming in with 250, 300,000 really? miles on them. What's the biggest thing that people neglect even when the light comes on? I, it, biggest thing is just maintenance, general maintenance. Change the oil, and you know, out here in the desert, our, our temperature, our climate is so extreme. We need to maintain our car a lot more. You know, so we get the oil change, we gotta make sure that our tire pressure's right. Even down to the wiper blades, the, you know, the That's sun, true. the sun just eats all the rubber products up. Yeah, so, all right, some good advice as always. Yeah. Try to be here, man. Bob's back. Bob's all back. Right. <laughs> we'll take a break, we'll be right back.